me happy and what makes you happy this morning I am not letting anything bother me today I'm telling you it is a good day in the neighborhood I have my microphone on uh, in the bathroom this morning getting dressed I, I was sitting on the toilet now this is this is funny this is really funny and I bent over I dropped my little ketone stick I bent over to pick it up off the floor and popped my toilet seat. Any other time, that would have set me up for a bad day, but it is not a bad day in the neighborhood. I've lost 21 pounds, I'm celebrating, and no broken toilet seat is gonna put me in a funk, because guess what? My being prepared has me ready. I looked at it as a way to scrub my toilet and get it good and clean before Robert puts the new toilet seat back on. And the new toilet seat was already in my basement on a shelf because guess what? The last time it broke, I brought a, I bought two. So I got a backup. And guess what I did this morning already? I have purchased another one and it will be here this week and I will put it on the shelf in the basement for the next time this toilet seat, it's got a, it's got a flaw. It has a flaw. So it's not me that broke it. It's the flaw in the toilet seat. So, and I'm also celebrating the fact that I have on yoga pants with the drawstring because I haven't purchased new yoga pants and I'm down 21 pounds, which is three sizes. And I still like my yoga pants. So I tied up, I, I laced up my, <laughs> my yoga pants and I am good to go. So I'm, and I'm thankful for coffee. Those are the three things I was thankful for today. So it's Monday. It's time to bless our homes. Tomorrow is a brand new month y'all. And the new habit for this month is getting rid of our paper clutter. So I have our little, little tiles here that we go through every day. And the first one we do is go pull the sheets off our beds. So let's go pull the sheets off our beds. And I'm gonna set the timer for two minutes. I got it right here. Setting the timer for two minutes. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about what's going on with Benjamin. So I got a call Saturday night from Benjamin. And I am thankful that he got permission to call me because it had been almost five, six days since I had heard from him. And we were beside ourselves with worry. I, I had given it to God, but you know, as Ben told me, if you give it to God, you can't take it back. He told me this. 
He told me this. So let, let's, um, he is in a good place. They are taking great care of him. And I, and then, so yesterday afternoon, my friend Donna says to me in a text message, she says, I know the commissioner of prisons. He sat in front of me at church this morning. This is my, one of my best friends from, from high school. And then last night, so she said, do you have, you have anything you want me to say to him? I said, just thank him. Thank him for, for taking care of Ben and, and giving him permission to call me because it had to come from him. It couldn't come from anybody else. And, and then, um, my other friend from high school who was, we lived at each other's houses. That's how close we were. She calls me last night and she says, Marla, the cancer that Ben has, my cousin had, and I had never heard of it before. And she is cancer free now. So we are giving this to God and, and God is taking care of it. And I am thanking God for the miracle that is going to be coming Ben's way. And we're just, we're just living that, that Ben is going to be changing a lot of lives. Okay. We've got, we've got this two minutes. We've stripped our beds. Now I'm going to roll the dice that my sweet darling made for me. Look at this wonderful thing. He's so sweet. He spoils me rotten. Just so y'all know. He makes me anything and he likes to make props. Look at this prop, this switch, this switch and this dice he made for me. And he also makes a stand that I keep my phone on by my, by my chair. Okay. So I'm going to roll the dice. It's number four. Let me find number four on our little pile of stuff. We're going to declutter. We're going to start getting rid of some paper clutter y'all. Declutter magazines and catalogs that you have piled up on your hotspot. Let's get rid of those. I'm setting the timer and I'll continue to talk while y'all are doing that. And those papers and magazines make our house look messy. Uh, newspapers, magazines, sale flyers, you name it. Let's get, let's deal with some paper clutter right now. Let's deal with some paper clutter. Now, going back to Ben. He is in the hands of the Lord. He is, he is, you know, four or five days out from major surgery. But my friend that called me last night, she had a colostomy for, she was supposed to have it for a colostomy bag for six months. And she only had it four because of the grace of God. She healed like nobody's business. And Ben doesn't even have a colostomy bag. He is going to heal so fast. I know he is. He is going to heal. And Leanne has, has um, agreed that we're going to come up with an eating plan for him and supply him with bone broth all the time. We're going to keep him well. We're going to keep him getting what he needs. She's written Ben a letter that says, I'm... I'm your new Aunt Leanne, and his mama's name was Leanne. So he's going to take it as a sign. I know he is because he's a good, he's a good man. He may have gotten into some trouble, but he's a good man. So folks, keep being in your prayers. I know I am thanking God for the miracle, and we're going to fight paper clutter this next month. We're going to fight it. Any which way, any way we can, any, here's the book. This is a miracle book, just so you know. Any way you can. We're going to fight paper, paper clutter any way we can. We're going to stop it at our front doors. There we go. I'm going to roll the dice again. And we're going to pick another tile. Number two. What is number two? Let's see. I got it right here. Number two. We're going to empty the trash. Now, the secret to emptying the trash is to, one of the rules is to put a trash bag back in the trash can. I keep four or five in the bottom of my trash can. 
I do not throw wet trash in my trash can. Wet trash goes in a bag and goes in the freezer. And when I take the trash out once a week, it the frozen stuff gets piled in there and Robert takes it off. So here we go. I'm setting the timer. We're going to go around the house, gather up all the trash in every trash can and get rid of it. So here we go. There's the timer. We have to be thankful for even the bad things, like my toilet seat this morning. That's a bad thing. It would have been a really bad thing if I hadn't had a backup. But guess what? My toilet is clean and sparkly. Yes, things get under there and it's nasty looking, but there it finally said low network. There it's back. Okay, folks. So we are mopping our floors. So the mop, two of these, the multi one, a feather duster, uh, purple rags. Where are my purple rags? I can't find my purple rags. Oh well, purple rags, the rubber scrubber, rubber scrubber, toilet bowl brush. Let me find that. Toilet bowl brush. Now, if you want the vase, you got to add that because it doesn't come in the, the package. But probably the next time we put this package together, it will be in there. Uh, the carpet sweeper. And am I missing anything, Justin? It's 11 items, I believe. Oh, the, 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 hold on a second. I get it right here. And our broom. This is an amazing broom. An amazing broom. It really gets up glass shards like you wouldn't believe. It does a great job. You get one handle, the mop, because you don't use the broom and the mop at the same time. So why pay for two handles? But if you want a second handle, you can get that a la carte. There we go. I'm going to roll the dice again. Three. Here's three. Grab your purple rags, purple rags, and number three, and we're going to go do our windows. We got a testimonial yesterday from a, a lady who, I'm um, setting the timer, don't get, from a lady who just gave up doing her, her sliding glass doors. She just gave up on them because they would look streaky and worse than they did when they were dirty. So she got a purple rag wet and a purple rag dry, and she went and did her doors, and they were beautiful. She did the insides and the outsides in less than five minutes because they haven't been done in a long, long time. When we do them every week, they're not hard to do. They're just not hard to do. Let me give you a fun game to play. You take a purple rag that's wet and a purple rag that's dry and walk around the house with them in your hands. Just walk around the house with them in your hands. Just that simple. And just see what you can clean. And just set your timer for 15 minutes to walk around the house. You'll clean things that you hadn't seen that were dirty in, a, in forever. So have fun with just a tool in your hands. A tool in your hands is just amazing. I've already used my rubber scrubber this morning twice. My Roomba keeps not working. And so I've scrubbed the contacts. I've done lots of things to get it clean. Uh, and this thing is the bomb diggity. It's great on dog hair and cat hair on my couches. I use one in my bedroom to scrub the dog hair off my blanket that the dog sleeps with us and so she is a mess but she's a sweet mess and we get things done this i have one in my bathtub it cleans my jets in the tub it also scrubs my knees and elbows it's there's one i have one in the kitchen i have one in every room in my house every room in my house has a rubber scrubber okay we're gonna, we need a one or a six, y'all, and they are opposite each other. The one is there and the six is there. So, here we go. We got a one. 
we're hitting on all cylinders today. I'm telling you. Get okay. We're gonna back him. We got the number one right there. We're gonna back him. Now, if you've got a sleeping baby, you may not want to drag out your big vacuum cleaner. But guess what? Let me grab this. Carpet sweeper is the tool to have. Oh, and that comes in the FCC pack too. The carpet. That's the one thing I miss. You get this and a bunch of other things to keep your house and all of these tools. Just take the carpet sweeper and run around the house with it. Ready, set, go. This will get your throw rugs clean. It'll get the middles clean. I used to see people in, in, uh, in restaurants using these little bitty ones. And I thought, oh, that looks like a good thing to have. And sure enough, it picks up wet, it picks up dry, and it picks up on rugs because we got, we got this for floors and we got the mop for floors. We just didn't have anything for rugs that did a good job. And th this carpet sweeper does a great job on rugs. I love this thing. And if you don't have one, now is the time to save $93. Today is the last day. So save $93 on your complete cleaning package. And it's going to have these 11 things in it. And it's going to be great. I mean, it's going to motivate you to get things done in your home. <sighs> okay, folks, everybody get up and do something. I'm sitting here because I don't want to make you sick getting up and doing something. Maybe one day I'll have Justin here while while y'all are with me and I can do the weekly home blessing with you. I'll have Justin with me and we'll do it together and I'll have him filming me, but I can't film myself and do weekly home blessing. Okay. So we got 20 more, 25 more seconds and we're going to get things done folks. We're going to get things done. Uh, Willow's right. And if you don't like it and it doesn't work the way you thought it would, just send a message to orders at flylady.net and Kathy will take care of you. Kathy will help you. But we don't have many things returned like that. No, nope. maybe something gets damaged in shipment. Okay, we got one more tile and all we need is a six. So are you ready? We're going to get a six. We got a four. We got a three. We got a six. That was our first double roll. And number six is our favorite. Grab your feather dusters. I think I might play a song for this one. We're going to feather dust. And I'm going to grab some music for us because we like music. Let me get the music up. Let me go back. Let me... I don't want to play that song again. I want the feather dusting song. Where is my feather dusting song? So long dust samba. You ready? Grab those dusters.
pretty cool y'all got you can get your whole house dusted and we did that that song lasts about three minutes let's see what that song that song is two minutes and 19 seconds yep look at y'all we have you have weekly home you have blessed your home already it's not even 11 30 11.27, look what you have done in this 30 minutes. I hope I've inspired you a little bit. I want to thank you for all your cards and letters and the candles you have lit, the emails that you have sent regarding Benjamin, my nephew. Um, keep him in your thoughts and prayers. If you want to send him a letter, send it to Benjamin, Ben Cheryl and this number 325281. 1045 Horsehead Road, Pikeville, Tennessee, 37367. I don't know if he'll get it until he gets back to the prison, and I don't know how long that's going to be. But with your prayers and your thanking God for the miracle that's coming, it won't be long. And then he's going to get out on parole, and he can start his life over. He can. He's already had a change in his whole life. He accepted Jesus. I asked him the other day, I said, I said, were you baptized? And he said, yes, I was baptized in prison in a horse trough. So he was, he was so excited to tell me that he accepted the Lord. And I knew he was walking the walk, but I didn't know if he had. And I just asked him point blank because Aunt Marla does that sort of thing. She just doesn't, she doesn't mince any words. She just says it like it is. And he said, yes, I am a child of God. So. God's taking care of him. He's going to do this. Ben has a lot of lives to touch. So thank you all for everything. We got lots to do today. Play this game today. Pick up one of your fly lady tools and walk around the house with it in your hand. And see what you can clean. Just see what you can clean. And you're going to be blown away. Blown away. I think my husband's going someplace. Anyway, I love you all. And I will see you at 1 o'clock for Leanne's show. It's Monday, and it's always fun on Leanne's Saving Dinner page on Monday. And then 3 o'clock, I'll be back on here for tea time. Tea time. Are you ready? Let's have a productive day. Don't let anything get you down because it's, it's not you. Just let things go. Give them to God and let's just keep on keeping on. That's what flying is all about is loving yourself. Loving yourself. And you can do this. And don't forget the sale, the the FCC pack is ending tonight at midnight. This is your last chance to get it at this price saving $93.
I mean, if you look at all the things in there, if you just divided it by the number of items in the kit, it's less than it's less than ten dollars for a Christmas present. You could divide the whole thing up. You keep what you want and divide the whole thing up and give it give it away for presents. See you later. See you later. I slurred that a little bit. Sorry about that. Anyway, love you all. Bye.